Hi ladies, uh, this is my my review about working with Anna Rova. Um, I have been coaching with Anna Rova for a few months now and my situation before working with Anna was, uh, was pretty bad actually. I had, you know, just been through a pretty serious breakup and I'd hit sort of a, a rock bottom point and yeah, life was pretty shitty. I had been thinking about coaching for some time and I hadn't really found anyone that I could click with and I found Anna's uh, podcasts and her articles and I just fell in love with her, her style, her, uh, her passion, you know, her zest, her humour, just everything about Anna, you know, she's got this, um, you know, fierce, been there, you know, had it has experienced hardships in life, which um, you know she's learnt from. So she's you know she's not just one of these coaches that you know has has come from having it easy. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I would love to have come from having it you know easy. Um, but yeah, Anna's Anna's been there. She's been through things, and I think that's what sort of really drew me to her because I I could feel immediately that she was operating from a place of experience and and knowledge as well. So yeah, for me, it was a no brainer to do coaching with Anna. Um, I, I loved her. We did a discovery session. I immediately felt, um, you know, connected with her. I trusted her with, you know, my deepest things. As I said, I was, you know, in a pretty bad emotional state when I connected with Anna and you know, despite having um, had a pretty rough time, I, you know, reached out to, you know, the mental health areas and they can only do so much. And I realized that, you know, no matter what I, I did, um, you know, with my mental health, that it wasn't just, you know, psychology sessions and journaling, that there's, there's so much more to it. And yeah, this is where the coaching came in. I, you know, I learned to express my emotions in different ways to, um, you know, to not use my body as a, um, like an outlet. So I would often train at the gym and do vigorous exercise as a way to feel good. And I, I never realized that you could, you know, move your body through feminine embodiment and, and flow and express and, and feel and move your emotions in that way. So yeah, um, I had a couple of aha moments with um, Anna's coaching. The biggest one for me was, you know, I, I take a lot of interest in polarity, particularly the work with uh, David Data. And the biggest thing for me was realizing that my guy, um, you know, doesn't necessarily put me as his number one priority and that a man's purpose in life, you know, is, is not, you know, shouldn't be his woman. And I realized in my previous relationships that some of the men that I had dated, uh, my two long relationships that I had from, you know, 18 to, to 31, um, were men that were actually quite feminine and I was wearing the pants and I was unfulfilled and realized that this is because I was attracting feminine men. And yeah, so that aha moment that, you know, a masculine man uh, will not you know, prioritize you as his number one. Yes, he'll prioritize you. Yes, he should prioritize you at times, but his life purpose should not be his woman. And, you know, if it is, there's there's something going on there. You're attracting a, a feminine man and great if um if that's what you want, but I don't. I'm here to I'm here to work on polarity and attracting a, a strong masculine man. So yeah, I would absolutely recommend Anna's coaching. Um, you know, she's absolutely incredible. She puts in a lot more uh, time and I, I find her responses through WhatsApp and messages are quite uh, in depth. And, you know, she, she really thinks about what she's going to say rather than just flicking a immediate response that's, you know, that's flaky. Um, yeah, so, absolutely do it. Coaching is, uh, there's so much more to it and it's incredible. So I highly recommend it. Um, yeah, I think I covered everything. Good luck ladies and yeah, coach with Anna Rover.